Hey guys, so I wanted to do a quick video today um, of my top 10 MAC shadows. So as most of you probably know, I love eyeshadow probably more than any other beauty product. I think the combinations of eyeshadow looks that you can do are just limitless. And so it constantly inspires me to try new shadows and new color combinations and new looks. And I absolutely love anything to do with eyeshadow. So I have picked out my top 10. I have quite a few MAC shadows, probably up where, upwards of 20 to 25 shadows. So I feel like I have a pretty good understanding of their color range and their formulations. So I've just picked my top 10 that I seem to go back to time and time again, and I wanna share with you. So I'll start with kind of the purples. Purple looks great on brown eyes. It's one of my favorite colors to wear on my eye. I just feel like every time I wear it, I'll either get compliments or just feel really pretty, or I'll look back on pictures and be like, oh, what color was they wearing? Like, that looks great. So, um, this color is called Plum Dressing, and as you can see, it's a really pretty purpley pink. It's almost got like a du duochrome, and underneath it, there's a little bit of cranberry, so you can really pull out that pink, and I really like wearing this with kind of pink in my, um, crease, and I'll show you a, a pink that I like to wear with this next. Um, but this is, this is plum dressing. I'll swatch it for you. So that's what it looks like on my hand. It's definitely got that pink undertone and a really pretty like electric um, purple color. The other purple from MAC that I absolutely love is called Deep Damson. This is a very deep purple and compared to um, plum dressing you can tell it almost looks brown but this is actually a really pretty deep purple if you don't like wearing black on your eyes something like this is a little bit warmer and kind of gives the same effect so i'll often substitute a black or a dark brown for purple because i feel like this color really goes with a lot of different looks and you'd be almost surprised um but it's a great matte uh and by matte i mean it has no shimmer it almost looks a little bit chalky on my hand when I swatch it, but I'm telling you like in the corner, um, it looks good. So it's just a matte, deep, deep dams in purple. Very, very pretty. So then we'll get into the pink tones. And like I said, I love to mix a pink with that lighter purple that I just showed you. One of my favorite pinks um, to do that with is called Free to Be. It is a bright corally pink, um, almost like neon pink, but it's just really, really pretty. It's matte as well, and um, I always find that matte shades are a little bit easier to blend in the crease, and it gives you just kind of a different look, but that is the pink. It's very... It's very pink, it's free to be, it's very girly, I love it. The color that's very similar and oftentimes I will um, combine them to create my ideal transition shade is called Coral. And that's exactly what it is. It is a bright coral orange shade similar to free to be. Let me pull, when I put them next to each other. So, same texture, this is free to be pinkish, this is coral, orange, and I'll swatch them next to each other as well. So you can tell this is more pink, this is more coral. Hence the name. It's really pretty, really pretty uh, shade. You can do all sorts of looks. You can do it with cranberries, you can do it with purples, you can do it with browns, grays. It's, it's really actually quite um, versatile. Cranberry, this is Cranberry by MAC. Cranberry eyeshadows are one of my favorite eyeshadows to wear. I just love them. I think they look great on brown eyes or brown hair or, you know, anybody has got kind of honey tones, green eyes, really. Um, cranberry is just such a beautiful shade. It's, it's got definitely an iridescence to it as well. And it just packs on so nicely. Very creamy, very pigmented. Um, definitely formulation-wise, this is my favorite MAC formula. But it's definitely got a shine to it. Very pretty. 
especially during the holiday times when you kind of want those cranberry, you know, burnt colors. Um, very pretty. Now this is a shade that's probably like very odd. It's called yogurt and it's kind of hard to tell with the bright lights, but this is a really light pale, um, pink. I oftentimes will put this all over the lid or all over the entire eye to set a primer on my lid or to do a very neutral look, which is a simple wing. It works very nicely. And, uh, I've almost, what they say, hit pan on it, meaning I made a, a, it has a big dent in it and I'm almost going to hit the pan. And you can't really tell on my hand, where did I put it? Right here. It's, it's like kind of chalky looking on my hand, but it's really beautiful on the eye. Just a few more shades left and these are more on the neutral tones, um, less pink and it's kind of more neutral. I'm just cleaning off my hands so I can get you good swatches. The first is um, Shroom, which is a yellowy um, highlight shade. So you can put it kind of above, right um, on your brow bone or in the inner corner of your eye. And it, it just got a really pretty iridescence to it. It works really nicely. I don't know if you can even see it on my hand. I'm so pale. It's just, I don't know. I guess you'll just have to take my word for it. It, it looks really beautiful on the, the inner corner and the highlight bone. Um, another color that I use I'll often a lot really. It's called soft brown and that's exactly what it is. It is a soft brown. It does um, contours the eye very nicely if you want to put it in the crease. Um, you could even use this on the lid and it probably would be a very pretty, easy, simple, put together look. Soft brown. Great. Must have really in the MAC shadows. Second to last is Amber Lights. So this is a gorgeous gold color. I don't know if you're all familiar with Too Faced Natural, Natural Eyes palette, but this reminds me a lot of Honey Pot, which is in that palette. Um, it's stunning. It has got that similar formula to Cranberry um, in that it's very metallic looking. So it shows, it's very pigmented, shows up very nicely on the skin and on the eye. And paired with like a pur deep purple lip or even red um, or pinks. I mean, you could just do so many things with this gold shade. Amber Lights, stunning. My last favorite MAC shadow, and I'm sure there's tons more, but these are really my top 10. It's Club by MAC. This is an interesting color. Reminds me a lot of MAC's blue-brown pigment, which I also love. Definitely one of my favorite pigments. But it is teal green looking, but then as you you move it, it can be brown and purpley and red. So I really wear this a lot in the fall time. As it's swatched in my hand, you can see how deep it really is and how, how much depth there is to it. So that's a pretty good swatch. It's very pigmented. It's got that purple, red, brown, blue, green, and it's really kind of got this weird like metamorphosis on the eye. It's really stunning. Um, I recommend it. Go to the Mac store, swatch these, see what you think, and um, yeah, hopefully this was helpful in any way. I'll talk to you all soon. Bye.